Hello class, my name is Desiree Fuentes and for this last learning outcome assignment of the semester, um, I'm going to be going over chapter 18, learning outcome number two, which is to describe ways to apply the part practice methods of fract uh, fractionization and segmentation to the practice of motor skills. So, um, first, I'm going to go over fractionization. So, fractionization is involved with asymmetric bimanual skills. Um, thus, this strategy involves practicing each arm or hand individually before performing the skill bimanually. Um, when doing so, practice should begin with the hand or arm that must perform the more difficult or complex movement. Um, now, with this, although uh, practicing individual parts can be helpful in skill learning, um, the learner sometimes may find it difficult to put the parts back together um, later on. So a way to um, solve this problem or overcome it is to use uh, segmentation. So this is when segmentation comes to play. Um, or also known, segmentation is also known as the progressive part method. Um, so in this model, um, the learner practices the first part as an independent unit, um, and then the second part separately, and then after that, they put it together. Um, so basically, step by step, um, breaking down the movement and then, well, this takes advantage advantages um, of the benefits of both the part and the whole methods of practice. Thank you.